All right, everyone, so when you've scratched your glasses, this question comes up a surprising amount, enough that I decided to do this video. So on occasion, you drop your glasses or you're just cleaning them and there's dirt or dust or whatever there, and it scratches the lens really badly, either way out here, right at the center, tons of scratches everywhere, or a deep scratch right in the middle of the lens. Now, what can you do about that? Can it cause any problems visually, strain-wise? Let's get into it and have a chat about that. Now, first of all, if you're new here, definitely subscribe, follow along, hit the like button, ring the bell, all that jazz so you can keep up with the latest and greatest. We're always talking about new lens technology, fixes for your glasses, problems with glasses, and all these sort of fun, in my opinion, things. Maybe not yours. Maybe that's why you're here, is because it's not fun to you and this situation sucks anyways. Let's do that, but otherwise, let's talk about this little, any sort of scratch problem. All right, so on that note, as far as scratches are actually concerned, I've got a video on what a lot of these are. Most of them are actually just through the anti-reflective coatings. On occasion, you can get a really deep gouge or scratch that goes into the actual lens material. A little bit more common on polycarbonate versus the others, but you know, they're a fact of life. Scratches happen. This pair happens to be glass and you know, if you're really careless and do the wrong things, you can occasionally get, and you can see it right below that light, there's just a couple little scratches there, and they're a little bit dirty. I haven't cleaned these guys in a while. But you can see there's just a few stray scratches. Now that's a glass set with an AR coating, super nice, crisp, and clear. You guys know I love my glass lenses. And this one is a standard plastic. These two are actually about the same age, so you'll see pretty quickly the difference that you get between the substrates. And this one, you can see, it's, it's had a really hard life, just as much as the glass lenses, but we've got a lot more gouges and scratches. No swirl marks. Swirls are a little bit more typical of a failure from bad cleaning habits or an easy to scratch coating on the lenses. So that's more commonly what you'll see. These are pretty advanced coatings I've got on mine. Again, very good substrates. But that's what you run into is we just get these scratches and occasionally in the case of this one, they are right in the line of sight and they will drive you absolutely mad. Now, as far as whether that can actually cause problems for you, that's the main thing you want to know about, right? Of course, it's annoying. We know that. You're looking out and there's this scratch right here in your line of sight. Or even if you're really picking, it's way off over here and you just keep looking at it all day long for weeks at a time until you finally get to the point where, okay, it's been there. It doesn't bug me anymore. I'm going to go on with life. But... And this is the question I get a lot. It's, can that cause problems with your vision? Is this something that can actually, you know, if I don't replace the lens, is it gonna cause my vision to change or be problematic or cause headaches even or eye strain? And the answer to that is largely no. Now the eye strain and headaches, yeah, if it's directly in the line of sight, you're constantly looking at it, and you're constantly changing the focal length of your eye to try and look at that little spot, yes, that is gonna cause some eye strain, definitely some discomfort, and possibly headaches if this is something that happens to you a lot throughout the day. You know, you're sitting there riding on something, and then, oh, here's the scratch, and now you're looking this close to your eyes, which is causing you to strain that ciliary body in the eye and contract that muscle, causing the crystalline lens to focus up close for you. That's how our eyes work. <laughs> the Prince Biopes can't do that quite as much. This is mainly for you younger guys. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just what it is. But that is kind of the main thing there. So you're not going to hurt yourself by not replacing the lenses. Can it be annoying? Yeah. Can it cause strain? Yes. But is it ultimately going to cause problems with your vision or cause a prescription change or anything along these lines 
that's a pretty hard no. It's not something you're going to run into creating long-term problems for sure. Now, definitely if it is significantly bothering you, it's a lot in the, right in the line of sight or even the progressive wares, if it's right in the middle of the channel and you're trying to look at your computer screen and that scratch happens to be <laughs> right here on everything you're trying to read and, you know, depending on the design of the progressive, that can make the lens entirely useless for you because some do have that small of a channel and if you've got a big enough scratch in the wrong part of the progressive channel, you can't use the lens anymore. It might as well be trash because when you're trying to look, it's just not there. Now this is where I tell you that I always recommend a separate set of glasses for the computer because it gives you a larger zone and cuts down on the strain here so you're not doing this all day. There's that little pitch. I'll link up a card here with more information about that. And there you go. That's kind of the short, a little bit long. It's the long and the short version. It's the version of what can a scratch do to you when it comes to your vision and your overall experience of wearing glasses. For the experience part, it can suck, but for the actual vision part, you'll be okay. Get it replaced when you can, especially if you're one of the guys like me that the scratch over here, you notice I don't wear the green pair as much anymore because I'm the one that's constantly doing this. It's like, oh look, there's that scratch that I haven't done anything about yet and it's driving me mad. Now these don't have anything on them yet, which is really nice. I'm kind of impressed with this coating. That's a story for another day that we'll talk about. Yeah, I want to give it a proper testing before I start tooting its horn because I'm always skeptical with these sorts of things. It has burned me in the past once, so we'll get to that another day. For now, that's all I've got on the scratches and lenses. If this video helped you, if you've ever experienced something like this before or really have had significant, significant problems from a scratch in a lens. Let me know in the comments down below. I always love hearing y'all's stories. <laughs> uh, some of the videos and the stories are really great. <laughs> I'll have to do a video one day just about the stories you guys tell me, but we'll catch that another time. You guys take care and I will see you again soon.